Uh, yes, we're back in the girls' room. Right, uh, we're in chapter three now. <laughs> Rise and shine! <laughs> uh, who's this? Yeah. Oh, oh, you know, right. Have you slept right. at all tonight? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> apparently <laughs> not. <laughs> ah, looks exhausted. Spent the previous night by her side, assisting her to dot her around a police perimeter. Oh, right, the popo came. Right, right, right. Sniffing pictures and interrogating popos. Naturally, they didn't want to discuss the case with a bunch of high schoolers. Are we high schoolers? <laughs> I, I still don't know. <laughs> Unclear. <laughs> Unclear. <laughs> Alright, it's a curfew. Okay. Alright, uh, making. Who's gonna pick up the phone and call at 2 a.m.? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> People who <laughs> allow their numbers to be put in Eno's phone. <laughs> Alright, you crash on the couch. Well, I'm making eggs. In someone else's house? Mm. Hmm. I haven't had a solid meal in days. I do like eggs. Oh, you just had fish! <laughs> <laughs> He's insulting a, a fish. Do as you wish, I'm gonna call the police station again. <laughs> if you really think they'll answer. 911. <laughs> <laughs> An attack on a politician in Abbotsford of all places. Sorry, is there something special about. Abbotsford politicians, other than the well, uh, you see, obvious. attacking people is illegal in Abbotsford. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Even politicians? <laughs> Even politicians? <laughs> Especially politicians. Uh, this is going to be linked to the interview you conducted with Karen last week. Put some bring me into this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like someone wanted to silence her. We've been receiving warnings, you know. We? I have the paper. I found one again last week after we reported on the farmhouse case. Farmhouse case? Is that where we got the eggs? <laughs> That's a very short message Farm sent from an anonymous e email address. Okay, well, anybody can have an anonymous email address. I have an anonymous email address <laughs> for shopping. <laughs> I've, I've got 10 at least. <laughs> Sad to hear your office burned down, is what it said. How polite! <laughs> Did the <our> office burn down? <laughs> no, you dimwit, it was a threat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me before? From a time traveler. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're, you're, you had the uh, thousand yards there. I dismissed it as a prank at the time. You know, these pranksters joking about arson. <laughs> I'm still sure it's a prank, you know. Don't worry. Uh, war correspondent? Uh, you're a high schooler, come on! <laughs> or maybe <laughs> you are. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have any idea who planned the attack on Karen? Okay, okay, you're gonna pause for like 10 seconds. <laughs> Nine, eight... <laughs> no, not really. Uh, what about the uh, mayor and his brother? They've been brought up a few times. Uh, a contraction flashed across the eyes. I don't know how a contraction can flash, but... <laughs> <laughs> the mayor's brother? certainly have been rumors concerning him. After our latest article we sparked interest in the murder case, he was at the center of suspicion again. It's a small town, people gossip a lot. Ugh. She shut it so hard my screen shut it too. Mm -hmm. George Van Linden, a scary guy. <laughs> Who's into dancing girls? <laughs> when we were younger, we tell stories about Grumpy George. Grumpy George and a stripper. <laughs> Not like curious George. He was known for igniting an infurious rage whenever someone came on his property. Get off my lawn. There was even a time. 
<laughs> Never mind. Uh, but I'm sure he's the kind up person <laughs> that could coldly eliminate someone who got in his way. It chills me that someone like him holds so much power. Have you in seen like politicians? <laughs> <laughs> any of them? The thing is, Je we don't have any evidence. <laughs> George Van Linden, you should see him. There's a disquieting shimmer in his eyes. Another normal thing that somebody says. <laughs> a slight squint that, hey, has though racist. barely noticeable at first, <laughs> somehow warps his entire face into an expression I could only describe as being detached. I'm not squinting, my eyes are just small. <laughs> <laughs> it infects every. <laughs> Man, I started to think you're a little obsessed about the greatest kind of. <laughs> Maybe this is her type. <laughs> Take notes, Abe. Alright, oh, her right, right. type. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are only the external symptoms of an underlying. Disease. Again, oh, totally yeah. regular sentence people say <laughs> in regular conversation. He's a personality doctor. <laughs> the true cause for his demeanor must come from a place far deeper inside. Okay, Freud. A lump of coal. <laughs> No, 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 it's a mother complex. <laughs> <laughs> that strange look in his eyes, so unmistakably crucial to his whole persona. Mm. Oh boy. A totally... And it almost feels <laughs> like a characteristic of a certain physiological type that's slowly emerging from within him. Mm. She's also becoming increasingly creepy talking about people's gaze in uh, deep detail and psychoanalyzing them. This is her hobby, let her have this. <laughs> that behavior, I don't think, can be explained as a primitive attribute of the uncivilized mind. Uh, nobody said it was. <laughs> Nay. No, quite, quite the opposite. The opposite. <laughs> we can see his type all around, in our neighbors and random passersby. Even in politicians and world leaders, okay, okay, especially no. in politicians and world leaders. <laughs> now she's just making social commentary. Uh, if these are your tired whispers, I don't want to know what your non-tired whispers are. A short temper, the decadency... Decadency? Decadence? Mm. These are all qualities of the future, man. Ah, as uh, Frederick Nietzsche once said. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure. convinced it's a high schooler now. <laughs> <laughs> Waxing oh, <I> philosophical. <laughs> After uh, doing like one a, philosophy 101 class. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> uh, and then she's back to being a teenager. She's looking at her left. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, these Tinder matches. <laughs> Go cook your eggs. I need to make a few calls. Yeah, I just I just saw hot peas on Tinder. <laughs> he super liked me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and Abe, please ask Rika to take you to a council library. Date number two. I'm still interested in an appendix document that I keep there. I, I still don't know why you're doing this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, Rika! <laughs> hey, Rika, what's cooking? You good looking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way to the pool. Oh no, swimming pool episode. <laughs> We're running double training sessions up until the regional championships next month. We're going to nationals. Also, the music is really loud. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm. You can walk with me if you like. I, I don't think that's called faltering. <laughs> you mean she stopped, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So, you must be preparing for a big trip. Uh, eh? Nanny? He told me you'd be taking her to the beach sometime soon. Is it, uh, far away? You should have come to me first. Alright, bad ending. Here we go. <laughs> I have a good mind to report you to the authorities. It speaks volumes of your character, this attempt to take advantage of a vulnerable young woman. We have been very tolerant of your little outings in May up until now. But if you're going to take her out of town, I insist you be accompanied by a chaperone. What are you, 12? <laughs> no, Victorian. <laughs> 12th century. I, I guess you have someone in mind. For an unwed girl to go on private beach outings with a man. Gasp! How how skinless! <laughs> Clutches bow. I have my reservations about the whole situation. I haven't promised her anything. We just cancel. However, as I feel May is due for an excursion, and as I have some business of my own to attend to in rivalry, I'm willing to accompany the two of you. Accompany us? Sure, or will my presence ruin the little plan you had in mind? Not at all. Fine then, I have already made arrangements. Classes end early this coming Thursday so we can leave after school and be back before midnight. I'm sure we'll have a blast. Beach episode! Back by midnight, that's not a great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Don't if you're a chaperone. <laughs> the shit chaperone. Uh, alright, oh library. Hey, Rika, before I leave, I was wondering... There's something I need from the town council library. Eh. <laughs> from the council library? Could you get me in? It isn't usually open to the, li to the public, huh? Weird library. <laughs> what would you ever need from there? Playboy magazines. <laughs> oh, just some old records. It's something for a history assignment. Lying already, I see. And I figure you owe me a favor, considering how I'm letting you come on this beach trip, huh? <laughs> well, I could get you in, although we'd have to go soon. They are tightening security protocols after the whole attack on Miss Ward. On the library? <laughs> security and protocols. I'm on the library. So I ordered the attack. <laughs> Did you hear about that? <laughs> what mm. a tragedy. <laughs> uh huh. We'll go this afternoon after I'm done with my workout. <laughs> Please meet me outside the council building in about an hour. Uh, the <laughs> yes, <laughs> chlorine. The fresh there. scent of chlorine. Mm. That's Delicious. definitely what chlorine <laughs> smells like. Fresh. Uh, there you are. Let's get going. I'm gonna be home in time for dinner. Oh, that's a fancy library. Uh, sophisticated. Library? Council building. Ah, got a key. Key, get. Okay, uh huh. Nondescript door. Please don't get your hopes up. The municipal collection isn't actively curated. And why is it so highly guarded? It's too embarrassing to let the public <laughs> know the state they're in. Probably has a bunch of shoujo mangas too. <laughs> yes, it's just a heap of whatever showed the manga so the town gets their hands on. <laughs> first love memories, first love memories too. <laughs> I'm beginning to browse the first love memories. <laughs> she appears to be having cram full of degenerate show your manga shit. <laughs> I'll help you. What title are you looking for? <laughs> first love memories. <laughs> uh, uh, well, don't 
tell me you've forgotten. This was all Forgot a ploy to yes. get an unwed girl <laughs> to be in with you at a library. <laughs> uh, uh, sp sp Spengler, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seem to appease Rika. Okay, you sound appeased. Spengler? Hmm. Never heard of him. Hmm. <laughs> Not difficult to tell. You can tell by the condition. Hmm. Hmm. You're restless now. Zoning restrictions on the construction of prefabricated cupolas, third revision. Annual report of homeowners association, the Gilded Borush. The amount of junk they keep here is appalling. I knew it! <laughs> they need someone to prune it all down. Someone needs to take it home! <laughs> on the reproductional... Reproductive, right? Yeah. Habits of flight? <laughs> What kind of person holds on to this trash? <laughs> the city council, <laughs> duh. <laughs> Alright, she's had enough. That's it, Abe. I have to go home now. Whoa. You can look further if you want. Aha! Ah. Here's the key. I'll let the receptionist know that you're still in here. Don't steal anything now. Don't look at anything you're not supposed to. <laughs> Thanks, Rika. Sorry for dragging you along for this. It's okay. Just make sure you're prepared for our big outing on Thursday. I've sent May a message already. She's delighted. Mm. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, I want to hunt. Okay. Shuffle, shuffle. Oh, booming voice. <laughs> Great, to, Great see to see people. young people. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Politics. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. An alcoholic. <laughs> Is this the squinting? <laughs> mm -hmm. the squinting. It's the squinting. Oh, no, it's Leopold. <laughs> This library is the greatest resource we have, but it's really taken care of shitly. It's <laughs> sad so very few people find their way here. Maybe because you don't let people find their way here. <laughs> is there anything I can help you with? Uh... Uh, sure, yeah, uh... <laughs> I'm looking for the appendix to the theological inquiries into the Church of Abbott. Oh. <laughs> oh. Short oh. throaty laugh. The inquiries into the Church of Abbot, you say? I believe I've heard that name before. Yes, you're in the town of Abbot. <laughs> Aren't ah, you? Abbot sounds familiar. The place you're a marquee of, perhaps? <laughs> I suggest we go for a drink, you and I, uh, high school so, boy. <laughs> are we not <laughs> high schoolers then? <laughs> maybe, maybe we can talk in private. Uh. <laughs> this is definitely not suspicious. A politician do with a history of uh, interest in dancing girls soliciting <laughs> high school boy out to a drink. So I saw you come in with Kuiper's daughter. She's uh, a fine catch, mm. the girl. <laughs> Old man talking about an uh, underage girl is a fine catch. Be wary of her father, though. <laughs> oh, I remember what it was like to be young. Between the two of us, some say I haven't changed much since those days. Well, not just between the two of us, it's the newspapers, too. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty women will always be my Achilles heel. So I've been told. Okay, okay. For, for good reason. <laughs> <laughs> ah, You're 18, Finally! Right? 
we established the age. <laughs> oh, well, you're totally legal, as far as I can tell. <laughs> I have an eye for these things, you know. <laughs> Let me order you a beer. I can just tell. <laughs> anyway, about that document you were looking for. I'm sorry to tell you, it's been lent out. You're wasting your time searching. Hmm. Lent out? That's right. The appendix has been removed, yeah. <laughs> as they say in medicine. I think that's the best line in this VN, like in the entire VN so far. <laughs> but why? He, like, he, he what? In the medical. I don't know. <laughs> but tell me, what, or what were you planning on doing with that thing? Give it to your girlfriend? Yeah, this guy's brain is just full of uh, thirst. Hmm. No, I have school, you know. Well, that's a sign of great ingenuity. Somehow. It's an interesting piece. It isn't requested much. If at all. <laughs> I'd say people had all but forgotten about it. Yeah, an obscure appendix in an obscure book? Come on. <laughs> but then you came along. I'm not buying this school homework thing. <laughs> you mentioned it had been lent out? Me. <laughs> Lent out, yes. It has. Uh, it's been lent out to me to be <laughs> precise. <laughs> uh, nani. Uh, it's time to make a proposition. <laughs> to you? Okay, a lap dance for, a, for an appendix. Oh god. I figured your girlfriend would have known considering her father's position. She's not my... He really had you on a wild goose chase, looking for things that weren't there. Ah, is this fate? <laughs> didn't know what I was looking for. <laughs> mm. That's good. Yeah. Stay Very vigil. <laughs> Stay vigil, yes. <laughs> Hold vigilant. <laughs> you don't have to tell the ladies everything, huh? Mm. Keep them guessing. Yeah, which route totally will you choose? Me in jail. <laughs> You're all in danger from me. <laughs> You're a stronger man than I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, join me in the strip club. <laughs> you must have heard the story, Abe. Did I introduce myself? <laughs> <All right. laughs> but he already knew you were 18, which is suspicious enough, I suppose. Mm. It was about a year ago, there was a guy we employed. A guy. Yeah. We do our garden on Sundays. Jan was his name. Sundays. Jan wasn't from here, you know, but more importantly, he was a cigar smoker. Mm. Wow. <laughs> on a gardener's wage. <laughs> My wife doesn't let me smoke in the house anymore, so we'd often sit on the patio outside and smoke together. I don't work my people too hard. You need to take your time, enjoy life, get lap dances. <laughs> ah, that wink. Anyway, I was having a lot of trouble with your father-in-law, Kuiper, back then. Sometimes I would vent about it against Yan, and that's when he told me about the church inquiry. He had been conducting some private research of his own, and he had reasons to believe that that document contained compromising information pertaining to the history of the Church of Abbott. Personally, I'm more of a worldly man, but Jan was very much into these theological matters. He was a Catholic, like the priests of his group, so you can figure why he didn't like Kuiper too much. As I had access to the council library, I promised I'd retrieve the appendix document for him. He suggested it contained enough information to cause a national scandal, that it would take down Kuiper for good. But it didn't. <laughs> Evidently. Jan died. <laughs> well, he's still here, isn't he? You should know. I'm a selfish man. Yeah, that didn't come across before. <laughs> I went to the council to retrieve the document. But I declined to give it to Jan. I kept it in my briefcase, as I had my own plans with it. And I'm telling you now, Shonen, for some reason. <laughs> Who's Sanford ah. again? 
It's a Sanford house affair with the dancing lady, and then ah. and then he lost his briefcase. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you mean you lost it? The document you lost at Sanford House is the appendix of the church inquiries. You fool! You down. absolute fool! <laughs> I never lost it. It was stolen. <laughs> it was all a ruse conjured up by these church people. I may have been a bit loose-lipped that day when I found a document. A bit loose as well. <laughs> Ever since then, I've only been drinking beer. You know, after a long day at a council, I like to come down here to drink a few glasses. I may have boasted my find here. That, yeah, like you're doing to Abe now for some reason. <laughs> and not much later, a call came in that our party, AIR, would be entertaining a wealthy donor that night. Kuiper was happy to provide Sanford House, the most exquisite property in town, for the occasion. Oh, in enemy territory and you were so careless. Mm -hmm. They wanted me to come right away, a briefcase and all. <laughs> I should know better, but I was in the best of spirits, so of course I attended. <laughs> in the worst of spirits, too. <laughs> And they knew all my preferences. There was liquor and the female entertainment and somewhere during the night. I must have blacked out. Your preferences aren't exactly unique. <laughs> liquor and female <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> it's very broad. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say what kind of female uh, uh, liquor. <laughs> female liquor. In Sanford House, of all places. Beautiful stuff. Stately Sanford House. Yes, beautiful, stately Sanford ladies, I'm sure. Did you know my clan used to own that manor? It was residence to the Lords of the Isle whenever we visited Abbott. But my great great grandfather saluted the Kuiper family right after the evacuation. He was hoping the church would take good care of it, that they wouldn't let it fall to ruin. I figure he was right. <laughs> Ever since the reclamation, we've been trying to buy it back. First my father, then me. But to no avail. That snake Kuiper knows how much we want it. I mean, that's your mistake. <laughs> and then he uses it in such a humiliating way to orchestrate my downfall. <laughs> my position within AIR has become precarious due to the whole affair. Is it really something you want to be doing? Telling the whole cafe right now. <laughs> I think the whole cafe already knows. As a democratically elected representative, they cannot remove me from my position right now. However, I doubt they'll keep me in the party when elections come. Uh, so you say to an 18 year old. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> <laughs> and that Yan guy? Whatever happened to him? He got out of Yan, he left thereafter. To think of it, maybe he was the one working for them, trying to use me uh -huh. to get the document. <laughs> one of his friends had something terrible happen to him, you know, a guy named Michelle. Got killed on one of the farms. Most workers from his group returned to their hometowns after that incident, never to return. I reckon they'd seen enough of this place. Anyway, I never had the chance to look into that document. To be honest, I had all but forgotten about it until I found you two snooping around the council library. Your safest bet is that Kuiper still has it, and he hasn't burnt it by now. Ah, the, the fetch quest for the document. You'll probably have to pry from his cold, dead hands. Yeah. Don't murder him for me. <laughs> Show it. I apologize, I'm a man of many, many, oh, many I couldn't, I couldn't tell. <laughs> I should have known women would spell my demise, those heavenly creatures. Oh, and referring to them as creatures. <laughs> so mysterious. You should enjoy it while you're young. Whoa. No. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a creep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> did, did, we, did the beers ever arrive? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, let me sip my tea to simulate a sipping a beer. <laughs> mm. Alright, mm, seven. More fish. Mmm, I like fish. I like salmon. Fresh salmon. Oh. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Briskly searing. Yeah. That's what my favorite way of enjoying salmon. <laughs> Briskly seared. Mm. Oh, well. 
Ina. Ina? <laughs> Who let you in? Your father did. He was on his way out when I got here. <laughs> Said I could wait until you were back. So how did the investigation go? You got the document? Have you been spying on me? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another thousand yards there. So Leopold's gardener Jan was a friend of the worker that was killed. Uh, a colleague, more like. <laughs> Work friends. Mm. I feel that may hold some significance. Colleague Zion on the like time, come on. <laughs> We'll have to try to get a hold of Jan, but before that, we should see if we can extract the appendix from John Kuiper. Mm, excise it from his cold and dead body. Hmm. We what? Why would you think Kuiper hasn't gotten rid of it by now? With Kuiper, you can never be sure. Yeah, he's an idiot, just like Leopold. Mm. Am I chewing gum? Well, no. <laughs> I can't be chewing gum because it's illegal in Singapore. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's buying and selling gum. Or maybe just selling gum? Not sure. Mm. The document holds historical significance to him. If there's one thing the church is keen on, it's preservation. But in the end, there's only one way to find out. We'll have to break into the church offices to see if we uh, can find it. Casual break and entry. <laughs> Let's go. You have time this coming Thursday. Oh, oh is no. right, my route? Do I go to the beach with two hot babes or do I yeah. commit a felony? <laughs> well, I'm gonna follow Leopold's uh, advice and enjoy my time. <laughs> it was felonious. <laughs> You're going to the shore with two girls? Guess! Two unwed <laughs> girls? <laughs> I figured inviting me along never even came to mind. No, no, you're my boss, remember? <laughs> you gotta have some distance between us. <laughs> Ina, I... <laughs> Let, then let's do Saturday. After you're done with your work. <laughs> anyway, it's late and I'm dead tired. Thanks for dinner. You should know for next time that I'm not too fond of seafood. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Speed run. <laughs> ah, blindingly bright that day. <laughs> oh, how nice, an empty carriage. <laughs> if only. <laughs> Never happens in Singapore, I take it. Uh, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Beach episode! So <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? It's so big you can't see the other side. It's um. Anyway. <laughs> Our very own sea. <laughs> sea, you call it. All I smell is rotten fish. Sniff, sniff. Okay. And isn't the sun nice? It's as warm as a summer's day. Is, Is it, it summer not a summer's day? <laughs> Rico, can we have ice cream later? I'm not your mom, you know. <laughs> I don't think there will be a vendor at this time of the year. Apparently it's not supper. <laughs> but we can eat something in a village when the sun begins to set. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, first things first. The coach would only let me skip practice if I do a 30 minute workout down here. Anyone joining me? Are we gonna get a CG? Of you swimming? Mm -hmm. You're going swimming in October? Ah, it's October. <laughs> it's October. I think I'll pass. The summer of winter. <laughs> Suit yourself! The summer of winter. <laughs> boing boing. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we, are we not? I guess we're not seeing it. You should come in! The water's lovely in October. <laughs> <laughs> you can take a shower afterwards to get a stench off you. Uh, that's not inviting at all. <laughs> I'd rather play on the beach. Okay, skilled butterfly technique. <laughs> yes, me. Now we're alone with I an unwed girl. <laughs> you tried to teach me when I was very young, but they say I never took to it. Were you afraid of water? I'm not sure. Somewhere shallow is fine, like a swimming pool. But I wouldn't want to swim anywhere where I couldn't see the bottom. Uh, okay. Not endless, I hope. <laughs> I don't think that's wise. Feel the tide to a bundle. Uh, that's a weird phrasing, too. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Right. Arika's wonderful, isn't she? Yeah, such grace. I'm really, really <laughs> thirsty. Well, her parents did hire a personal trainer for her, you know. Without that, she'd oh. probably be rubbish. Someone's salty. Are you salty. actually friends? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> you know how few <laughs> friendships are. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Thank you for reminding me. Frick is projected to take first place at the regional championships this winter. It's the Nationals oh. after that. <laughs> The whole town will be cheering her on. Nobody cheers me on. <laughs> she can stay underwater for more than five minutes. Isn't that amazing? Well, maybe she's a uh, eldritch creature. <laughs> Anyone can stay underwater for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on when it comes. <laughs> <going back. laughs> I remember when we were small. We would hold breath holding contests. <laughs> Rico would always beat me. <laughs> that would explain why you lost. <laughs> Time she <laughs> For so long that I begin to panic, begging and pleading her to start breathing again. She does have a sophisticated sense of humor, doesn't she? I have not had any uh, <laughs> impression of a sense of humor, but. Hmm, maybe the whole, like, unwed girl chaperone thing was supposed to be a sophisticated human. Ah, uh, I see. I see. I, I guess I'm too uncultured. <laughs> I'm delighted to be your friend. Most girls around here look up to Rika, though they don't always let it shine through. Where is she, anyway? What do you mean you had to admit? You were having conversation with... <laughs> I'm not sure. Probably so in the water. Oh, oh boy. Mm -hmm. Now it's a lake? Yeah, it's a lake that looks like a sea. It or was a sea a moment ago. <laughs> <laughs> Rika. Rika. Mm -hmm. Five minutes. Rika, Rika. Mm. Rika. Whoa. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. She's been under for more than 10 oh. minutes. No one can survive that long. Possible. She's an excellent swimmer. Rika, stop playing games. It's not funny anymore. Dun dun dun. <laughs> uh, 20 knots per hour. <laughs> okay. That's uh, very specific. This is really starting to remind me of that. <laughs> make fun of Dun Brown article. <laughs> she was as tall as a, as a six foot tree. Hi. Don't worry that. I don't know, I'm not feeling the gravity of the situation. They're not. I don't know, I don't think they're presenting it right 
gravely. Emergency services. Mm. All right, let's dive in. <laughs> the Why? stupidest decision ever. Dive in. I really. I. I was just spending the whole time talking to you about how I can't swim very well. <laughs> uh, but then. Look in the distance. Ah, <laughs> it's gotta be her. How could we not? Rika, she's back. They just swim pretty far to mm -hmm. not be visible. And pretty fast too. I, I, I don't... I'm not oh, sure the author okay. has uh, seen people swimming. <laughs> mm. Where are you, Rika? We thought you disappeared. Oh, I apologize. There's an interesting geological feature out there in the water that I felt like examining. Another normal sentence. Like this. <laughs> interesting geological also, feature. I don't think I know how difficult it is to swim with their hair out. And there's a reason people use swimming caps and tie their hair in the water. But then how would she be able to salaciously tempt you from... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Of like granite rock something something. At times you can see little parts of it sticking out from the waves. A rock? A mineral. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh she likes the the minerals. The rocks. There's lots of history surrounding that stone. Now it's stone. <laughs> see my, my uncle bashed his head on a stone once. <laughs> It used uh, to be a hazard for ships back in the days when this was still a sea. So this is not a sea. It is. If so fish it would hit sea. that rock, it could stink their vessel. Yes, that is generally how these things go. Over the centuries, it wrecked up quite a death count, and eventually it became so notorious it was given a name, the Humming Stone. It was said that strange creatures lived within the rock, who brought forth a mysterious and whirring sound. It all seems radioactive. <laughs> they were dangerous too, as they feasted on the corpses of sailors that drowned there. Wait. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that this rock, which you are able to swim back and forth within 10 minutes, is somehow capable of drowning sailors? These <laughs> sailors, they got in the water and they were unable to make it to shore? She, she had a personal trainer, you see. <laughs> Ridiculous folk beliefs, of course, but these things do amuse me. Ha ha ha, dying sailor. You, you think, I wanted to be <laughs> so, so You think that when we put a sign on a stone or something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't get eaten, I guess. Oh, how could you two worry about me? Are you doubting your champion swimmer? Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> Soon set. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Make these. <laughs> Fish cakes. Oh, I see that. I see that in the, uh, in the sign. <laughs> mm. What could be fish cakes? You like them? Uh huh. Mmm. That's not fish cake, is it? Just. Oh well. More fish. Mm -hmm. Fishy. Oh, delicious. They taste very, um, local. Doesn't like fish, huh? Wait, wait, can you press H? 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 Yeah, look at that fish at the bottom of <laughs> She does how the author does the sprites. You just attach like a clip art to it, <laughs> and like add two fingers. You don't have to redraw the entire sprite for a new. Uh... <laughs> I just realized that she's here in her swimsuit. It's me. She's special. <laughs> okay, I like to see, but I don't really care for what's inside. You only like to see from the outside. <laughs> oh my god, cod! I'm making salt water cod, you know. Oh, cod, my favorite fish. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's cod not, and salmon. Cod, cod isn't that uh, fancy or anything, right? 
It's it's really expensive. God, is it? Yeah. Oh, well, I where where I am anyway. <laughs> <laughs> An island surrounded by water. <laughs> the water ain't uh, habitable for fish. <laughs> not not cod in particular. Is there a mm. fishing community down here? A very small one. The lake itself is mostly useless for fish, especially now with the quota on eels. But there are a few families that still sail up north. Feels like a fool's errand at times, but I guess it's what they do. To them, it's a matter of pride. Mm. After you two finish your meal, I want to show you something. A key! You should know by now that I'm very well connected. Yeah. Do you know who my father is? <laughs> um. Uh. <laughs> well, it's theater. Oh. That's where the magic happens. Ah, he's finally put on his clothes. Rivalry pumping station. As the terrain of the marsh polder lies below sea level, rainwater has nowhere to run off to and will inevitably flood the land. To prevent this from happening, all excess water is led to this station through an extensive system of drainage ditches. That a high centrifugal <laughs> pump lifts the water and jettisons it out into the lake. Strangely, I had a sudden desire to play civilization. <laughs> <laughs> My father is deputy to the regional water board. That's how I have access to this place. Mm. Your father should be fired. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I'm special. Uh, I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it here. It's so big. Wow. He was actually uh, passionate about something. <laughs> you have a personality. Woo! <laughs> machines. Look, this dairy leads down to the basement where the pumps are. They replaced the machinery just a few years ago. Each pump now has a capacity of 150 tons per minute, which should be plenty for the coming decades. But still, you should realize that whenever you're behind the embankment, you're treading on a former seabed. Yeah, it's cursed by Cthulhu himself. A small rupture in the concrete embankment would expand quickly, causing all the waters of the lake to flow back in. Oh, isn't that an arousing thought? Ah, uh, yum. <laughs> to each their own. <laughs> I don't. I don't kink shame. <laughs> You're safe while you're on Abbott, of course. The le the island still lies higher than the surrounding farmlands. You can grow rice. <laughs> Flood the lands and you can grow rice. The water? And though it's I don't lake know now. how long that will last, they say our town is finished. Slowly <laughs> sinking down into the soil. You gotta sacrifice a virgin maiden <laughs> every year. This place has seen the birth of the marsh holder. It was the first of these stations built, you know, and pumped out a lion's share of the seawater. After the land fell dry, it was a putrid mess. You wouldn't make it far before sinking away in the sludge. People had to wear boots with bronze soles, not unlike modern snowshoes, in order to make their way from town to town. And it wasn't long before the flies came. Yeah, that's why you have to... Why are we hearing flies now? Are we gonna get attacked? Swarms of them multiplying rapidly in the former seabed where they feasted on seaweed and rotten fish. I get that they're trying to be atmospheric, but I'm not feeling it. <laughs> it's, better, it's better than dogs, sure. <laughs> oh, fine, fine, fine. Fair, fair. <laughs> it was the birth of a whole new ecosystem where the fly population went unchecked. Yeah, no I, natural you can, enemies you can time. stop now. <laughs> <laughs> the poor inhabitants of Abba were driven mad. Millions uh -huh. and millions of flies are sitting upon their little towns, buzzing through the houses, smashing themselves against the window panes. Whoa, that, that sounds like some kind of biblical plague. 
<laughs> it does seem biblical. <laughs> it didn't take long for the pavements and window sills to fill up with piles of dead flies. My great aunt still tells tales about how the children would play games with their corpses. Stuffing uh, them into each other's school bags or crunching them up into balls with which they held morbid snowball fights. <laughs> that is disgusting! Oh, even the visuals are changing. Mm -hmm. The semen made for full ground. It didn't take long for all kinds of patients to sprout in a new form, so I'm sorry, how can seabed possibly make for fertile ground? Pretty sure that level of salt content would kill most plants. <laughs> Maybe and like the mangroves or something. <laughs> <laughs> and as their roots spread through the mud, the ground gradually grew steadier to the point where you could traverse it normally on foot. Spiders spun their webs among the countless shrubs, and just as the insect population had initially exploded, now the spiders reign supreme. So much for growing unchecked. <laughs> you know, I hope there's a point to this whole story they're making. <laughs> of course, we want to talk about the next thing. Cats. Cats were eating the spiders, and then dogs, and that's why ah. we are annoyed by dogs in this video. <laughs> Goring themselves upon blah 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 blah. <laughs> Many islanders welcome the arrival of the spiders as their presence would finally put an end to the nuisance of the flies. But for some, such as my great aunt, who was wary of all things creepy and crawly, the circumstances became all the more dire. Hmm. Due to the abundant prey, the spiders oh. grew to unnatural sizes. That is definitely how that works. <laughs> Larger than a human hand, they would hang legs outstretched with their massive jobs. My aunt recounts one traumatizing afternoon when she was sent down into the cellar to retrieve a bowl of cured herring. It was dark down there and she didn't have a light. She carefully made her way to the large, brine-filled barrel that stood far in the back. And then, when she raised the lid, wah! <laughs> out crept two humongous, hairy. Ah, no! Anything but spiders? Ah, uh, please stop, Rika. You know these stories frighten me. You don't like spiders. <laughs> I'm sorry, May. I forgot how sensitive yeah, you I'm are. I'm sorry that you're offended, May. <laughs> May. <laughs> Yeah, sadistic. Sadistic still. Uh, hide and seek. Mm. Peppermints. Ah, I like peppermints. Alright. Mm. It's getting late. We should probably be heading home. As I mentioned before, I have some private business to attend to in rivalry. It will only take a minute. Oh, you're going to the toilet then. <laughs> Would you two go on ahead to the railway station and wait for me there? I'll catch up with you in time for the 10 o'clock train. I'm a really bad chaperone. Hmm. <laughs> 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 they like to use the word fragrance a lot. They use it like in place of smell for everything. Well, fragrance is a fancy word for smell. And this is a fancy VN. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> you can tell that it's a fancy VN because in the title it says Threnody. <laughs> <laughs> it does say Threnody. Mm. <laughs> ha. Does this mean fish house of prayer? <laughs> That's fishy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and at headquarters too. Gee. So the plan is we head in, grab the appendix document, and then we're out again in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, quick adventure, in and out, 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> is everything clear? It yeah, is this is also. Melody. That has not changed since Thursday. <laughs> sure it does, but I've implemented some safeguards. I hope you have some powerful parents, because I don't. 
The church itself is open to visitors until 8 p.m. So as long as we're just looking around, we're not breaking any laws. The moment we get a hold of the intelligence, though. <laughs> yes, we must break into the administrative offices. As soon as we venture further, we'll be engaging in breaking and entering. You could have done this, this last year when we were 17. <laughs> 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 Which is a crime. <laughs> Anyway, it's dinner time now. I'm 17 still. Most clergymen are at home with their families. And if we get caught? If we get caught, we'll tell them we're high school students who are searching for meaning in their lives. We may get scolded, but then again, they can't go too hard on repentant sins. Well... You don't know anything about Catholics, do you? <laughs> Oh, let's go. Try to appear interested in 17th century religious architecture. Maybe we'll do that stupid thing in anime where we're like, oh, we're not bringing entering, we're just um, two lovesick kids trying to find a secluded spot to do some <laughs> sexy stuff. I'll try <laughs> to do some sexy stuff. Whoa. Hang on. You man. know what? <laughs> I am interested. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. <laughs> You're not even trying to be subtle here. <laughs> this blue flames. You know, if they managed to get this like highly secret document, why would they put it in the administrative office of a church that's open to the public? You think that Kuiper would put well, it in his room or something? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Under his pillow. This is it. The devotional heart of our town. I'm afraid there isn't much to see in here apart from New Oregon. The history of this place goes back a long time, you know. It used to be a Catholic church with a far more ornate interior. But during the Reformation, all the statues were smashed and the decorations were removed. The people of Asper practice an austere devotion where large displays of ecclesiastical wealth are frowned upon. I don't know, man. Those high ceilings seem uh, to be a very large display. <laughs> and blue flames? Yeah. They're not like that, naturally. <laughs> that doesn't mean the church is wealthy, you know. They sure are, considering all the property stone. <laughs> it's the canes again. <laughs> Just don't feel the need to parade their riches. Also, your your audio quality has really declined in the past five seconds. Oh, has it? Yeah, you sound like a little guy. Um, I don't want to say. Oh yeah, my my internet is suddenly turned to shit. Oh well, <laughs> you do know what to say, just not coming through. <laughs> should we um, should we take a break then? In that yeah, case. good place to stop. Yeah. <laughs> Well, oh, first time I stop taking the technical issues. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, unfortunately, goodbye. <laughs>